Today, Candace is cooking vegan bacon. Ooh. Hey, YouTubers, it's Ken and Candace from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Candace Veg and Review. How's it going, Candace? I'm good. How are you, All sir? All right. What are we cooking today for the lovely folks out there on YouTube land? Today, we are cooking the B word. The B word that would be bacon. Bacon. Okay, so this is a vegan style of bacon. Yes. And uh, probably it will be really nice and salty. And uh, I can't wait to see how you're going to create it. I did see that on your channel, so I'm glad we're doing this. And hopefully in the future we could add this to some other recipes that we might be doing. This bacon we are going to make out of rice paper. I agree with a lot of people out there that are saying like there's no dupe. Like there's no vegetarian dupe for bacon and I agree, but this is the closest thing that I've come across and it's right. really good in like sandwiches and on top of stuff and just by itself. It's salty and... Okay Candace, uh, let's get cooking yep. the bacon. Let's make the bacon. First, like I mentioned earlier, we are making this bacon out of rice paper. Okay. A lot of people buy this and they make like some sort of like rice roll, vegetable roll and they never know how to use it again. But I saw this on the internet and it blew my mind. I find the easiest way, we have to cut them into strips. I cut a couple here before you showed up because it does take a little bit of a while and you, and you end up cracking okay. bacon all over the place. But you just take scissors and cut it into strips. That's pretty easy. Right? And then we eat it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's right. And that's it. And that's it. You just apply salt and away you go. And there you go. So I did about like eight sheets of these. I mean, it's probably too much, but yeah. you can never have too much bacon. <laughs> you never can. But and how long would it store if you didn't make too much? Like it's a, like a week in yeah. the fridge. So you could you could do a whole batch and then have it uh, used for later on. Yeah, exactly. I cook a bunch because it is a little bit time consuming. Like you're painting and putting it in the water. So I'll make like four baking pans worth and then I just keep them in the fridge or in the freezer. And to make it bacony, we're going to put it in like a marinade. Okay. In the marinade, we are going to have olive oil because you need it to be greasy. We have this nutritional yeast, which if you're a vegetarian or vegan, you put it in everything. I find it just helps the marinade stick to the rice paper. We have tamari. You can also use soy sauce if you're not gluten free. I just like tamari better. Maple syrup because Very nice. it has to be sweet and salty. Paprika because I just you like love the paprika. paprika. <laughs> We have some garlic powder just to give it a little bit of flavor. Pepper. Nice. And this magical stuff, liquid smoke. Oh, that's gonna get our smoky bacon. Yeah. Smoky maple bacon. So I'm just gonna take all those ingredients and put them into a bowl, whisk it up, and then we have a marinade. We'll start with the paprika, add it in, garlic powder, oil. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of marinade here, but a little bit does go a long way with the rice paper bacon. Tamari. You can also make a big batch of the marinade and then use it on other things that you want to cook with as well. Just whisk it up. This kind of is just the way that I like it. You can make it sweeter or saltier and kind of adjust the marinade to your preference. I just enjoy it like this. And I'm just gonna add this liquid smoke. About a quarter of a teaspoon is more than enough. Otherwise, it's way too overpowering. And then all you will taste is smoky flavor. Oh, I can smell that already. Holy right? Cow. It's super strong. And then a little bit of cracked pepper. Just a little bit of bite. Why not? Yeah, that is. Whoo. Yeah, that's crazy smelling. Smell it. Scratch it. Sniff it. The rest is ours. All right, so that's mixed up. And that's our marinade. I'm going to show you how to make crispy and then more of like a chewy, tender kind of bacon. We'll do the crispy one first. I have a bowl of water and this handy dandy paintbrush. <laughs> Back up here. I picked two pieces of rice paper that kind of go together. Okay. Um, so they're similar in size and we're going to layer them up so it's a little bit thicker. Uh, you can do it okay. one ply if you want, but it's not as meaty. You Oops. prefer two ply. I prefer two ply. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to paint and this each gets one. This the process going, does it? Or is this to stick them together? So it, it does two things. It helps stick them together, 
but it also makes it meatier. Otherwise, it's super, super crispy, and it'll just burn in the oven. Oh, ah, okay. So stick them together. It makes them softer, makes them stick, gives it actually something to cook in the oven. And they're not going to stick perfectly, but they're kind of slippery. Okay. And then we're going to take this marinade and paint the marinade on. It's like an art project. It is. Like if you didn't think vegans were hippie enough, we like to turn <laughs> our food into art and then just flip it over onto a lined baking sheet and paint parchment. the other side. With parchment paper, parchment always paper. use parchment. For this, it's especially crucial or else it's just going to stick to the pan and yeah. then you'll never get it off. I'll show you how to make a chewy one really quick. So you just take both of them, okay. put them in the water. Put them for a second and then just... So now that it's more moist. It's more moist. It's going to become Over softer. Saturated. <laughs> yeah, so it becomes a little bit softer and then it's chewier. You get a chewier bacon as opposed to ah. a crispy bacon. Can't wait to see which one I like. I think I'll probably prefer the crispy. I personally like the crispy. But the chewy has its place too. Chewy is great in a sandwich. And the crispy is amazing to put on other dishes like mac and cheese perhaps, or on top of pizza. I've crumbled it up and put it oh. on top of pizza, which is amazing. If you do make the chewier one, you need to add more marinade okay. because there's water on it and it tends to not stick as well. Voila. And you do this with all of them. And have you ever thought about doing it like paper mache, putting it through the marinade? Like yes. Paper mache. When we can do that too, and then you can just pick your curiosity. favorite. Yeah. And then you can just pick your favorite. Um, I have, and I find it uses a lot of the marinade, uh, and it just kind of burns off. Okay, forget it. But just an idea. We're gonna do one, and you can kind of say which one you like the best. Okay. Because I was thinking, you know, I'd save a little bit of time if we. Uh, Go in and do it like that. And then we'll a little more hands-on fun. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a variety. And then we can pick our favorite one. Yeah, it uses a lot of marinade. Wow. See, it uses, yeah. uses quite a bit. When I made this for James, my fiance, he lost his mind. Awesome. Yeah, so I hope that you have the same reaction. I mean, I'm never ever going to claim that this tastes exactly like bacon because I don't think there is anything out there that will ever taste exactly like bacon. It's a very unique flavor. But for someone that doesn't eat meat, but still, you know, wishes that they could have those flavors, it's a pretty worthy substitute, I think. But the internet could disagree with me. Pick it up. Flip it over. It's already looking like bacon. From through this lens, it looks like bacon. You can even, I mean, if you're super ambitious, you can like kind of play with it a little bit. It's harder <laughs> it. to do with the crispy one, but once it's been sitting in the mirror That's a little great. bit. And then you can kind of have like a similar to sh like shape. I don't know, you have to play with your food. I'm a huge advocate for playing with your food. It looks done, Candace. It's ready for the oven. So how, what I, temperature and how long? Yeah, I preheated the oven to 400 and then it's probably, it's between six and eight minutes. So you definitely have to keep an eye on them because if they're super watery, they'll take longer. And if they're not as watery, they'll crisp up really quick. So you can burn them super easily. Okay. But let's uh, toss them in here and set a timer. Can't wait. Nobody wants burnt bacon. So. Hey Candace, they smell done. They look done. Oh my Ooh. goodness. It really looks like bacon. It really, See, really you does. can tell that this is a more crispy one. We did this with just painting the water on. Right. And then these ones we dipped and then painted the, the marinade on. And this guy we dipped in the water and then we it's, dipped in the marinade. So he's, soggy. he's a little soggy. But you said something about if you just leave them off to the side, it might crisp them up a little more. Yeah, so we're just going to lay them here for five minutes. Okay. And let them crisp up and then we'll try them. Candice, this looks absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to try it. Which one are we gonna do first? I think you should do this one. That was the first one you made? Yeah. Okay, let's break it in half. You okay. Grab, you grab half. 
Oh, oh it's got it's the crispiness. Make sure you I, I had to get in there so she didn't take all of it. We're not lying to you guys. It doesn't look like bacon that much, but uh, and from this end, the light's going through it and it's kind of transparent. Transparent bacon. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna go for it. And like I said earlier, I'm not saying it tastes exactly the same, but. Had the crispiness of bacon. Mm -hmm. The flavor of a marinated something. <laughs> and then the rice paper has a bit of a chew to it. Mm -hmm. That is actually quite a very good recipe for uh, an alternative to bacon. Let's go, what, what was the next one? That was the same as the first one. Mm -hmm. I think so, this one is a little bit crispier. Okay. This one's a little bit chewier. This is super chewy. Let's 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 rip that apart. You grab. Yeah, this is like limp. Yeah, this, this is, is the one we dipped very in limpy. everything. Yeah, that was funny because I was just like, well, wouldn't it be easier to do that? Obviously, this is the result you get. It'd be interesting if you cooked it longer. Would it go crispy? Or mm -hmm. the flavor of that one blows the first one away because it's so thick of the marinade on there. It almost has the the consistency of a gummy bear uh, or some type of a chewy candy because mm -hmm. it's sticky to your teeth a bit but again this was way more powerful in flavors because it was dipped in a little bit thicker and i guess you could dab it on at the last second if you wanted to you could up. oh totally and you can cook this one for longer too it'll crisp up the longer you cook it but i like it it's good mm -hmm. and, what, and these were all the same right yeah i think this one's going to be the crispiest crispiest one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. right i'll just end grab that anyway. snap Guys, I'm not kidding. The, the gooey one was way better because the salt, uh, just like bacon. Another a taste test just for you. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Not as much flavor on these ones. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's missing bacon in their ex life as being a omnivore, carnivore, that is definitely a really good alternative. I would love for you guys out there, especially vegans who've never, haven't had either bacon ever or would like to add bacon back into their diet because they've lost that flavor and taste from yeah. the past and didn't know you could make this maybe. So we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Well, especially for someone like me who I went vegan for ethical reasons, not because I didn't like meat and I love the smell of bacon still. No. It's just, I never ate a lot of bacon growing up anyway, but I always loved the smell and for me, it's just, it's nice to have like a salty, meaty thing in the sandwich. And it does have the greasy uh, bacon bits on it. So, it so that worked. I'd like to thank Candace once again for making me a greasy very- Greasy fingers? That's fine. All well, right. I'm gonna wash up after <laughs> this anyway. Uh, for hanging out on my channel and helping us out with the vegan recipes. I really appreciate that. And thank you for letting me feed you weird food. <laughs> It wasn't weird, it was just different, right? Yeah. It's a weird uh, negative word. The different is just the, the word we need because I've never had anything like that before. But if you want to check out Candace's channel, the link will be in the description below or somewhere on the screen. Check it out, see all the different vegan recipes that she has, and then you have a website too. Yep, theedgyvetch.com. There you go. If you like these videos, guys, please hit the subscribe button so you do not miss another one. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Candace. Veg and review. See you next time. Bye. Hey, YouTubers, it's Ken and Candace again from KBD Puck. <sighs> I gotta start breathing first. <laughs> <laughs> Ran out of gas on that one. Welcome back to another Ken and Candace. Veg and Veg review. And, yeah, you say it. That's a great idea. Oh, I, I thought like we were that. gonna say it together. I saw this on the. On the bleh. But if you wanna check out uh, Candace's channel, and we'll see you next time on another Ken and Candace. Vaginal review. <laughs> I was like, look, look, look.